Good morning everyone. Today is Michael's birthday. It is the Monday after the 4th of July weekend. Uh, last weekend we hit, eh, I don't know why I say we, I, again, an incorrect mark out by Highland Mills uh, Water Department. Well, it wasn't even close. Not, it, not only was it not close, but after we hit the water main, or I hit the water main, they couldn't come out and find the shutoff. It wasn't even where they said it was. It wasn't anywhere. So um, the water department came out with this tool, $400. It, it was a uh, one inch copper and it's a it's called a k copper that's that copper inside i i explained to you i don't know if it's in the video it's six hundred dollars for the roll uh it crimps it shuts it off so in other words it comes out to about a foot so you crimp it back here um you make a nice clean cut and then you reattach it and then you put it back in there and it crimps it back round it's not perfectly round but it makes it work so uh, that whole ordeal cost me $1,600, so these things were $400, and we bought two of them for each trailer. So, let's see, uh, then we'll go get that copper in there, I'll show it to you. Nonsense, man. Let's just see. We'll put one in each trailer here, and if it doesn't get stepped on, broke, or lost the day we eventually need it, whether it's this week, this year, or next year. So today is a customer that we did a 1,000 gallon tank removal for. Up in Calicoon, New York, there's Corey. Uh, it's an elderly woman. She's trying to leave, sell the pro property and she uh, i don't i can't get too personal here so long story short she we couldn't get any coverage she had no coverage on it so she had to kind of figure some stuff out i, I don't want to get too personal with the story uh, but here we are probably three months later and you know there's another tank there and it's a gas tank that we saw uh when we did the actual removal so Today we're going to, and, and the first 1,000 gallon, I'm all over the place, so the first 1,000 gallon tank we took out leaked, and it seemed like it was pretty bad, like it was 60 tons or so. So in the next three days, I plan on removing that gas tank, doing a 60 ton remediation, and then backfill. And this place is Calicoon, which is way up, uh, I guess, northwest-ish in Sullivan County it's a good hour and 20 minutes from us all on back roads so it's gonna take us a while to get there so we got quite a bit of travel time uh, that one Mason Sammy got stopped uh, by DOT you ready for this he got stopped because of his mud flaps in the rear were one and three quarter inches too short uh, so when he stopped him, he detained him. That's it. He puts one of those red stickers and mandates uh, the vehicle be towed. And then he sits there for a little while uh, waiting for somebody to come and tow it. So it's not as if uh, you can go and jump in it and then drive back. Um, you got to tow it. So it's just, um, happy birthday, Mike. It, it's, it's just unreal. So... So I'm down a Mason dump truck and 60 tons, you know, you figure it out. We can only do 25 ton a trip with that one Mason. So we're going to have to find some topsoil up in that area on Wednesday when we complete it. So that's, that's what's going on this week. That's the happy birthday handshake. Sam has now been moved out of the house, I think, 10 days. I've never seen him happier. <laughs> Dad must be an a-hole to live with. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure where Craig is. I've never seen Craig this late. Very unusual. No, he's not here because he's using the nicer mason dump. So we're going to load up a bunch of stuff. Sammy's got to go to Middletown pick up some dry ice because uh, that's how we inert that gas tank. 
We got the vac truck service, Brian from Advanced Oil Recovery meeting us up there at 10 o'clock uh, because I pumped that thing dry before we uh, put the dry gas in it. And boy, there's so much more I could tell you with this story, but it wouldn't be respectful. So that's it. Everybody doing well? Sammy? Where's Craig? What's going on, man? He's a little tardy today. Why is that truck over here? Oh, because we're going to put the mats in it or the plates in it. Yeah, the mats are going to go in. So what do I got to pull this thing? Yeah. Right. The GMC. Yeah, with the, uh, uh, with the mats. I don't know how long this thing is going to go. It's unbelievable. I, I'm surprised they gave it back to me. This. Yeah, but it's got to pull mats. two, four, four thousand pounds of mats. No, two thousand pounds of mats. It can, you could put half in there with the plates. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. It, it, because the plates, the mats don't go all the way to the bottom. I know. The plates do. So you can put the mats under them. Yeah, I know. Uh, so my truck's been having problems with the transmission. So we took it and because it has a supercharger in it, it, it shouldn't be uh, a regular transmission. So it's getting like, I had two options to rebuild it and upgrade it or just get this really nice one, which I, I don't know. He's telling me this thing's at 700 horsepower. I don't know. It's, it's certainly not 700 horsepower to the ground. That's for sure. Um, but I guess it is to the transmission. So. I just dropped over a deposit of $13,400 just for the cost of this transmission, which will be here in 10 days. Oy vey, man, it just never ends. So, and I'm sure it's another five grand to put the damn thing in. So, I don't really want to pull anything with that. It runs terrible. He said the torque converter in it is slipping. I don't know. I don't know. But he gave it back to me, and I'll be pissed off if I got to tow that thing from Calcoon if it breaks down so we'll wait for craig we're gonna load all our stuff up and we will see you up in calicoon new york okay we have made it here is the road and our access there's another driveway back around the boys should be coming any minute huh i i I hear Craig now. So, the tank they took out, I guess, is right in that area. And there's the gas tank. Wow. We gotta get room for these triaxles to come. I have two triaxles coming in the morning to get back in here. I need some trim in there, some trim in here. Probably be a good idea for us just to dig and stockpile over here. Well, I, I hope that area was low like that and didn't sink from us not properly compacting or bringing enough product. But this tree should actually come down and I don't know how she's gonna feel about that. And then we'll just swale everything away from the home when we're done. So now I've got 60 tons plus another 10 right there. So we've got to bring 70 tons back. And it's, and it's an hour and 22 minutes here. So we need to find a quarry 
because I got, oh, you know, as always, that, that DOT, the E, excuse me, and, and I stopped midway telling you, he stopped me because uh, the mud flaps were, were less than two inches. They weren't long enough. And then after going through everything with a fine tooth comb, uh, the e-brake, he felt, would not hold uh, under the weight of a load. Now, it held at the time, but he assumed if the load was in, it wasn't going to hold. Now, how he had the ability to do that is mind-boggling. But he did it. So those are our two tickets. He put that big red sticker and we had to tow it. So that truck's not done yet because uh, they're the, um, the mechanic's extremely busy. So we'll wait for the boys. Uh, lay out some plates and some mats and we'll get at it, folks. Three day gas tank removal 60 ton remediation all right so we're, we're helping linda get some some lilac trees out of there i gotta take this thing down we're setting up the mats so we got to get that thing open for brian i don't know what time 10 o'clock 10 minutes. Yes, we got to get Ten that open seven. for him. I'm going to pull this tree down. Yep. You almost done, Linda? Yeah, I'm finished. Thank you. Okay, yes, because I want to get you out of here. Very kind. No, I don't want to be part of that. Yeah, I, I don't. That's, this tree will crush you. I'm just, was just saying that these would look so pretty up next to the barn. <laughs> What what made you think it was a thousand? It says a thousand. Well, no, this was supposed to be a five fifty. Turned out to be a thousand. Oh yeah. So yes. I think I think the fact that it was here and I saw this side. I think I feel like I saw it. What happened with the backfill there, bro? Yeah. Oh, it was supposed there? to be a five fifty. Turned out to be a thousand. Uh, uh, oh okay, that's why. All right, very good, very good, very good. So we got quite a bit. We, we got sixty, seventy five tons. We got to put back. So it's just this tree. Nah, uh, maybe, that. Yeah, maybe, depending on how. I don't think so. So Linda, where? Right. Where can I bring that big guy? Well, uh. Because this thing, when it tracks, it it makes damage. I mean, I'm gonna topsoil stuff and make it look pretty, as uh -huh. pretty as possible. I can't. I can't get through there because of that branch. What's right here? Well, this was a garden. And there's a line of stones that go right along here. All right. Below. Can I track straight through into the backyard there to well, get to get rid of that? A, there are two bushes in here that I have not rescued, so that I can flatten this whole area. See that red bush? Yep. Uh, out of my head. I can lay that tree right down there. Yeah. And it's just but it. You know, I'm trying to minimize you having yeah. to get a, 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 a tree guy to cut it up and get rid of it, you know? Uh, no, uh, no, lay it. I don't know how far back you're going to have to dig. Well, I, I, I hope I only have to go to this far. Yeah, you're right. But it's probably going to go down about 15 feet. Really? Yeah. But so... It, yeah, right over there is fine. Okay. Right there is fine. Where? Right there. Oh, that looks like crap. That looks like crap. I'll deal with it later. Ah. All right. Well, maybe I'll bring a chainsaw tomorrow and cut it in pieces for you. That'd be good. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, Linda. Hey, that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, Craig, do you feel you what would you do? Well, I would just do a digging load, right? That depends if he can get up here. That's why. Oh, come know. on. What's, what's going on with you guys? You can get a mason up here. Well, no, I was. What that is was going February. on with you guys? That was in February, but the width I'm talking about. Corey, come back home to me. I mean, the folks are looking at this going, is that even a hill? No, he can get back here. Of course he can. 
All right. What, what do you call me when I say stuff like that? Soft. Oh, you say I'm getting soft. Yes. You, you tend to get soft. Hey, dude, look who's soft now. <laughs> Brian's going to make it up with the vac truck. He's late. He's right there. He's not late. He's, not there. He's never late. Where's Linda? Is it deep? Ah, there it is, right there. Want that? Huh? We're gonna set up plastic. Where do you want the dirt? I don't know. Should we, I don't think we should stockpile. All right. Put it over there then. Huh? Put it over there. We're we just gonna make a bigger mess, right? want to get that branch. And you, uh, you want it. That's cool. Which one is that? No, the thing I just took off, bro. Uh -oh. Where's your historianship? That's not cool. Grab it. When was this house built, Linda? Early 50s, late 40s. 50s. 70 year old pump. You want that pump? Valuable on eBay. It's a 70 year old hand crank gas pump. That's very cool. All right, leave that for Linda. Why? Let me speak with the president of the company. Yeah, why? I said I've been your I've been your customer for 30 That's um that's unreal. I can't 
Of course they did. It's a it's a wrench. Huh? What's your towel? Oh, thank you, Corey. So we're not doing anything. Normally we'd throw a sawzall on that and cut it, but you wanna try? No. Okay. No, we're gonna uh, get the product out and then we'll dry ice it and then we'll carefully cut it. This tree may also be an issue. When I pull that tank out, it may it may want a full cave in. So I won't let it hit the house. If it does, it's gotta come out though. Okay. Here he is. Hey, so here's so much for not making it up. Softies. Pull that wad back out, Corey. Cause you Hey, he may just want to pull a hose, Craig, you know? Just get him off the road. I mean, just get him off the road, man. All right. So, Brian, what'd you say? <laughs> what do you mean, so why you don't think he could have made that? It's not up the hill yet, bro. So let's do a little trim work right here then. But but it no, that, that's no. not gonna really damage anything. You're off the road, you could come back if you really wanted. But it, let him come and look at me. And the tank's right here. Yeah, you just come through here. The tank's not even ten feet away. Right here? There you go. Yeah. I can't hear him. You've got to take the damn cap out. Come on, muscles. Gotta be smarter than the object. There's no vacuum on it, right? No, there isn't. You gotta be smarter than the object you're trying to beat. Well, I mean, I hit both that's both really not a smart object. <laughs> that's, the, that's the point. Oh. Uh, okay, Jimmy. Ryan goes from a three foot drop to an 11 foot drop. You got your oil? My three and one, Jammer got it, look at that. Boom. Oy vey. Dig this up. Well, not a lot more, but I will. Listen man, there's so many tanks, they ain't coming to me. Why, why do you think you make the big bucks? Come on, man. Every job you get is in the <laughs> <laughs> I call Brian, he's like, oh, we'll be up in Calico. And I'm like, all right. Why, you guys are in the area? Yeah, we over across the street from the uh, raceway. Oh, okay. What's going on there? Some guy bought that building, right in that traffic light at the hill. Yeah, there's gas stations there. Yeah. What, that turned into an uh, enterprise rental? A car rental? There's no air. Uh, there is an airport actually for Bethel. Wow. Not, is there? Yeah, I saw it. It said airport two miles right when we went past Bethel. Not a bad idea, I guess.
Eric, you want to get out of there? Thank you. That's a 1,000. Can you get that out of the way for me? Yeah. Well, you're ruining them nice gloves. Oh, they're work gloves. I thought they were motocross gloves. I said the same thing. My bad. <laughs> Finally, there's the end of the tank. Jeez. Long. He just checked it. What was it? Six. Was it? Yep. I need that. I'll be right here. If we blow up, we blow up together. Oh, no, stop. please don't. Go away. Everybody go away. All right. Go ahead. Coming down with you. A bunch of blades and I have no power oh, now I have power Four sparks. Yep, me too. The whole time, though. Yeah, the whole time. Nope. Yeah, we're and this is your last stretch. We're running on empty. Ready. Yep. Always nervous. Never doubt. All right, bend that open. Where? All right. Unless there's a lot we can pump right off the bat, we'll see. You'll see. Hey. It's on.
Not in there? No, I don't think you'll be able to suck it either. It's like an inch of hard rust. Just put it over there. I put it right here on the mat. Got it, Mike. Hey, if we don't need him, send him on his way. Okay. Yeah, but then Brian. Brian gets us? Yeah. Can he pump? It's up a little bit. Yeah, it's all the drives. Oh yeah. Yeah, he can. Hey, you got a shovel? Yeah, let me get a shovel. I'll throw this shit back in there. Why is there dirt in there? It's just a gas, like created. Right over there. Did you just drop some? I don't know. I wasn't watching. No, that's not dirt. That's the dry ice. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Come on. Yes. See the fumes though when we go to here? It's not the top half. in the bucket all this sludge. I'm just gonna lay it on some plastic right here for tomorrow. And then we'll load it out. I'm gonna roll it right on it. All right. Have it? Yeah. I got it. Huh? Whew, man, I was. It's getting loopy. Yeah, let's just wait a half hour. 
family is. Good morning. We were just talking to Mike. Yesterday was his birthday. And he mentioned the only gift he likes is when the family's together. So we have to grab, we're all going to jump in the vehicle. We left everything up there. We got two trucks coming in an hour and a half. We got to cut that one tree up. So we're going to pick up, bring the um, chainsaw. It was something else we had to bring too, wasn't there? Yeah, the breathable. Oh, that's right, the air, the breathable air. That stuff smelled so bad yesterday, we just cut it open and we just left it up there to air out. Because it was nasty. How about my long poles to film? I thought that was here at the shop. We can get a couple of aerial views. bring in another 150,000 subscribers, you know. Where is the breathable air? It's in that trailer. <sighs> breathable air, it's a, it's a mass that stays secure to your face and it just pumps in fresh air. Anytime I do a tank over a thousand gallons, we do that, we use that. Gonna be right there. Wah. Not sure where the mask is. Get it. Jeez, that's pretty beat up. There was two of them. There's one with a scratch on the face and then with a newer one. Oh, uh, that black thing? Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. That's it. And we use these when we do gas tanks. All right, I'm concerned now because he actually spun on those plates. Yes. Come on, come on. Come on. Boom. All right, all right. That's perfect. Hey, where are, isn't this, you're supposed to be here at nine? Yes. Uh, He could be back a little further actually, but we'll load the back of the truck first and then I'll have him back up.
trees in the way. Hey, Jammer! Get that tree out for me, please. No, huh? I think the cutter is, oh no. I, Yeah, push it in there, Craig. All right. Thank you. And on that last scoop, it smells really bad. Is that leather liquids in there? I said, weren't you supposed to be here at 9? He said, yeah, I just wanted to be early. So, I don't know. I have a feeling he may be the guy coming back. I have a feeling...
put something behind that. There's a log over there, branch. What? Before he cut those trees all up, we're gonna go throw them in the back. Mike's gonna get all suited up, get in there and clean that thing. Good? I'm gonna get a, get a bottom here, see what the PID reading is. That is not good. Man. One seventy nine. Ooh, good guess. One eighty one. Went to two eighty. Wow. 303. 303. 355. Jeez. 365. All right. I got I got to scrape that back better. What? All works. All works. Yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Just short that, that'll work. A what? What? Ergonomics. If this is installed upside down, does it cut the right way? Cut the right way? With using the teeth. What are you talking about? The word stills upside down. No, that's... Who it did that? It doesn't matter. Like, does it matter? Of course it matters. I don't know why, but wasn't designed that way, that's for sure. Right? I don't know, we'll find out in the comment section soon. Uh, yeah, not that, all this shit, but I don't know if she's gonna want that, because like, see how it's patting it down? I don't know. We should spread these out though. Well, yeah, we're gonna pull in and then back to the hole. Are you gonna? Yeah, 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 exactly. It work it. Nope. We're gonna pull in and back to the hole. Here comes our guy. It's nine o'clock. Good day. An old time. This is an old tank. Hey, at 9.30. Got the little rim on it there. If this truck doesn't show. She's good. We're waiting on the second truck. Back side wall's good. This side wall's good. That side wall's good. We just got the bottom and right where the uh, bucket is sitting. So, another 30 tons will be good. He definitely took 30. And we got quite a cleanup. All right, so while uh, Craig is gonna stay there and cut the tank, and I'm gonna take a ride with Mikey. I'll let you see the quarry. Banana peel. You should probably let Craig know that I left. I think he's just on the other thing. Well, 
the, hopefully they're waiting for me. I don't know where I'm going. But. There they are. Oh, it's right on the way home. scale and we'll get weighed again so uh, that's how they know exactly how much you've taken and what to charge you $17 a yard yeah. ton. Yeah, like tons here yeah. he got five he got five I got ten uh, nine all right So he's got he gotta go first? Yeah, I just he knows where we're going. Oh. So Sam will go on the scale and get weighed. Or no. Yeah. Yes, we're going to scale and get weighed, she'll tell us to go. The last time we came here we went up the wild like up the windy area. I feel like I've been here. You probably have. I've been here once. Went up like a windy area and all the way to the back, it was like just a pile of bad looking soil and we got that stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like, it looked like it was growing grass in it and it was like digging it out. It was in between like three miles. It was just weird. So there's a guy in there that'll give you a signal and tell you to go. That, that lets you know that he's got the weight of your truck and your truck number. That's why these trucks all, you see our trucks all have numbers on them. That's why. Now Mikey will get on. You good? Yeah. You're pretty close. triaxles in here. Skins are a little bit. Alright. Give her a little wild cat. Shit. That's what I'm saying. It's always confusing when you come here. She said go up left. Sam oh. right there. Yeah, last time we went so much farther. So he's gonna load him with that. This guy's trying to get out, Mike. Oh, my fault. So that 
Dodge Jam are getting loaded. They probably hate when you come with little masons like that. They absolutely hate it. Yep. Oh my god. Some guys aren't that great with these things. I know. That's why the back of that, you see the back of our truck is dented right there? That's what it's dented from. One day, the guy was loading it. And now Sammy will go get weighed. Did a pretty good job loading that. Okay. Corey's turn. Also particular on how you back in. Yep. They're particular about everything. If you notice, he loaded that part of the bucket more. You can also see it spilling out the back. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good. And he toots his horn to let Corey know he's full. can't get out of the truck here. They won't allow us. Feel a truck squat right down. We'll wait for his little beep. There you go. Thank you. see how good that guy did because we paid for Sam five tons, Corey five tons, and nine tons for this. So now when we get weighed, I'll show you the weight ticket and we'll see how close he was. Now the truck rides so much smoother with weight on it. Jeez. They're going back on the scale now. Do they go in and get a weight ticket or? Yeah, go in and park the yep. same spot and we go back in. Let's see, tickets. Sammy, yep. Yeah. Now they're going to tarp up. That signal for us to go. All my trucks have the heavy duty suspension, but you can see that the GMC heavy duty suspension not quite as good as the Ford. But we are extremely happy with that GMC. You know what's great about this truck? I yeah, yeah, you just, Mikey just hits a button and the tarp goes.
there you have it, folks. A trip to the quarry. No, why? Uh, so you just got to get out. Yeah, you got to check right here. You got to clean that off. Can't go on the road and you know you're responsible for your truck, so that's what Corey's doing too. He's cleaning everything off. So no debris flies off and hits a car window. Probably I don't know. Once every three or four years we get a phone call saying we broke somebody's window. But I know it's a little bit of a scam out there. If somebody has a broken window, they'll just go out on the road, they'll see one of our trucks or somebody else's truck, and they'll take a picture, and they'll say, see, your truck was in front of us. So, you really, uh, you have no way to prove it. So you either submit it to your insurance carrier, or you say, sorry, I did not break your window. So uh, that has the weight of everybody's? No, it's, it's all separate, for, yeah. Yes, yes, there's three it sheets. It does, so let's hear. This was me, 832. 832. Right, that's net weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted nine, so not bad. 504. 504 is pretty darn good. 449. 449. A little low. Who's 449? I don't know. I would assume Corey, because he's the lighter truck, right? Can you tell? No. Doesn't say anywhere. Yeah, I would assume Corey. Yeah. I would assume mine Yeah, no, yeah, because look, your ticket Corey. is 32, this one's 33, and he went after you. Yeah. I was 34, so Corey's the lightest. Gotcha. And that truck is squatting way more right. than the Ford. I think it's got a smaller bed, no? Or, I, I don't think so. We it can measure looks it. smaller. I know you've always Maybe said that. Maybe not deep as, deeper? You've always said that. All right, we're back to the site. 